Yo, 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 what is going on everybody? It's Alex Spear and today we're back with another video. So as you guys may be noticing from the title of the video, today we're back and we're going to be working on to a new video, which is actually a new showcase in those new materials that, that um, Roblox has released. I know there's been many YouTubers that actually made this um, because they basically had like the beta access, I, I believe. Um, but as you guys may be noticing, they've actually released some of the new materials that are actually really nice. Um, I basically realized this after, like, while I was actually shooting How to Make a City Part 11. And I'm not gonna lie, I've seen some new things and it actually looks really new and it looks amazing. And we'll be showing them to you guys right away and you could actually add them into your city. You could add them whatever you actually want that I've actually made in those previous videos. So to get things right ahead, you know, let's try to get hits about 15 likes on this video and as well, um, you know, comment down below and subscribe and don't forget to join the Discord server just to actually keep yourselves updated. And yeah, let's get right into this video and get it started. All right, so as you guys may be noticing, yes, like I said earlier from the introduction, Roblox has basically introduced some of the newest materials in the game. Um, they look really nice, very detailed, very enhanced and to be honest i really like it um you can even use this for other things if you were actually you know if you actually are currently working on the city you guys could actually change um the materials especially if you're actually going to be making another game you could actually change the materials add some new things um and yeah so while i was actually shooting how to make a city part 11 i've started to realize what this really is but when I looked at it, there are basically some new materials. Some of them you may know which are actually familiar. Um, so ones like, you know, wood planks, wood, smooth plastic, uh, slate, sand. So, you know, most of these are basically more um, familiar. Um, but as you guys may be noticing, these textures are really nice. Um, I really like this one and this one. And not gonna lie, Roblox has actually done a really good job on this. Uh, and it would actually give a lot more of an opportunity for developers to try some new um, materials. So as you guys may be noticing, um, to get things right ahead, this is basically asphalt. This is basalt, cracked lava, force field. I mean, wasn't that already there for a long time? I don't even know. Um, glacier, glass, ground leafy grass limestone mud pavement rock salt sandstone and snow is it actually snow it kind of does not look like snow wait no this is sandstone this one is actually snow my bad but uh yeah those are a lot that are basically discussed in here um, but as you guys may be noticing, um, this actually looks really nice. So to get things right ahead, we're just going to test some things out and see how these textures look. If I were to test them out, you're going to see how realistic they tend to be. Um, so once you test them out, you're going to see how much, um, they actually tend to look. So they look really nice, um, in regards to... How close do you tend to be? And they have a lot more sharpness, a lot more adjustments. Not gonna lie, asphalt looks really nice. If you guys are actually working on the city, you guys could actually replace the roads to asphalt from concrete, so from concrete to asphalt. Uh, and if you guys ever, ever wanna add like this, uh, like if you were to work on a fountain, you could actually change from concrete to pavements, um, etc. cetera. Um, so um, as well for the land, you actually have it like um, leafy grass. You can have it to ground. Um, it's 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 your place. It's your game. Um, and what's really unfortunate is just the fact that if you were to go to building tools by FDX, if you go use FDX tools, and if you place a part, there's basically no um, there's no uh, any of the new textures. The only new texture that is actually there was actually force field. And that's what maybe got me to the point, like what's the point of me having force field here if it's already there in FTX. But a force field has been there for a long time. So I, I, I wouldn't really consider that, but you know, since it's from studio introduced, then sure. How about that? Uh, 
so yeah they haven't really updated anything from there yet they, they haven't really updated anything else and if it was actually updated most of it would be listed by alphabetical order uh, it would actually start off on top left as asphalt and it would actually as well go with basalt uh, so everything else would have to be perhaps in alphabetical order because in regards when it comes to actually looking for materials it always comes from top to bottom alphabetical order so uh, yeah so as you guys may be noticing yes these materials were once formerly part of terrain materials and if you guys ever want to know more information about these new materials then the link will be in the description below so according to the article on the dev form they decided to extend it and add some new materials that sometimes we tend to find familiar when it comes to making terrains inside roblox studio roblox had its way to focus on its key areas which were more realistic materials unify its own parts and terrains regarding to its look and feel give access to materials to become parts that were formerly a terrain and as well giving roblox developers a sense of flexibility which the materials that i'm talking about is basically the new ones uh, the ones that i'm actually that i just showed you already uh, so roblox basically did a rework on its own original materials that that includes grass dirt cobblestone and more and such that we currently have so basically the original materials which i would be showing you guys right now all right so here we are right now those are basically the original materials that actually started off a long time ago um so as you guys may be noticing um there's a difference when it comes to material manager you're gonna see a bunch of these textures they're basically the old materials but um you're gonna see a lot from that later on so um currently if you were to actually go to material service uh, there's basically every single uh, material that is actually listed here so in order to actually make a huge change because as you guys may be noticing yes they actually did a rework so if you were to go to material service and go to material pack you're gonna see use 2022 materials so if you were to actually click it you're gonna see how it's gonna look this is how the materials tend to look um, so uh, yeah so this is basically optional I'm not sure if, if uh, Roblox is ever gonna be changing this by any means necessary like strictly changing it and just remove the old materials because I just really hope it doesn't because I'm not gonna lie it's neat right but it's just sometimes we have to give it a balance to what the audience basically wants um, so I mean yeah um so i would actually i i actually prefer that depending on the kind of game i want to actually make it depends on whether what kind of materials i kind of want to use um in regards so um yeah so the new materials have had some improvements that which they added a new pattern of materials by adding it organic and it looks all right because it just doesn't widen or repeats itself like this one so what i mean by that is just that there is a way to actually customize your own materials um which later on i'm gonna show you guys right now and yeah all right so what i'm gonna be showing you guys is how to actually make your own materials um in regards um if you're gonna have to be using a few other websites that are basically pbr supported and yeah so um as you guys might have noticed there's this feature where you can actually manage the materials and even create them in which you can add different kinds of variants to it um in which you get to modify them and even create its own set of materials uh, so those are basically some other kinds of uh, materials shown um, it actually looks different now now that i've already enabled um, material service and enabled uh, 2022 materials so it is actually a little bit more different so um, yeah so there are some different kinds of you know variants to it so there's concrete there is fabric, ground, grass, metal, organic, plastic, rock, special, stone, translucent, wood. And as well, you get to actually add your own textures. But what I would actually say is that it actually belongs when it comes to making it yourself. So, um, yeah, so there are websites that um can as well be useful which will be in the link description below that um are actually really nice and that are actually more supportive 
when it comes to making your own textures, which are actually shared textures, ambient CG, and polyhaven. And you guys can actually feel free to comment down for more textures or for more materials. Uh, and yeah, so as of now, let's uh, let's get started. So um, I guess right ahead, we're just gonna go to here, create a variant. You guys can actually name whatever kind of um, material you guys want. Um, and then what I'm gonna be showing you guys is, um, I'm gonna show you guys whatever website actually works best for you guys. And then, yeah, so like, first things first, I'm just gonna be showing you guys a website called Share Textures, where you can actually download your own materials, and as well, you're gonna add the stuff that are basically on color, metalness, normal, and roughness. And studs per towel is basically like changing and adjusting the size inside of the material. All right, so we're already here. Um, we're actually already on shared textures. This is actually a really nice site to have. Um, so in order to go there, we're just gonna go to textures. And whenever we go to textures, you can actually, there's like different kinds of categories. Um, what I would actually do is actually go to concrete. And then you can actually get to select like what kind of uh, concrete you actually want. Um, and as well, you guys can actually use uh, metal or you could use um, wood. I mean, yeah. Um, what I would actually use personally, I kind of want to add wood or maybe um, concrete. So, um, yeah. All right, so now we're gonna go onto wood and what I'm actually gonna be doing is actually, I'm actually gonna be using a wood frame um, what I'm gonna get, what I'm actually gonna start doing is that I'm actually gonna download it. And I recommend you to download it on 2K because on 4K it's actually not gonna really be supportive. And I believe that Roblox doesn't really support uh, 4K materials. So what I want you to do is actually um, download it in 4K. Um, it's gonna be in a zip file. So once it's in a zip file, um, there's like all the stuff there. So what I would actually do is just uh, put him on desktop and like put him somewhere where it's actually easier to locate. And then, um, yeah. So now that we already put it there, uh, we're just gonna go and transfer the material to where it's at. So um, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm actually gonna go and name this texture. The base material is actually gonna be a wood plank. So you're gonna see later on um, color. We're gonna go to the thing right there, that file right there. And um, as is stated from color, um, this is gonna be the base color. And then the metalness. Um, so if it's metalless, it's gonna be metallic, normal. Uh, this is gonna be the normal one. And then the roughness, it's gonna be this bad boy. And there it actually is. Um, so that's per tile, you guys could actually add it however you want it to be. Organic, you could have it like that way, or you could actually have it regular. Um, so it's already saved in here. Uh, now what I'm just gonna start doing is just add a part, and I'm gonna be using that kind of texture. So, um, to get things right ahead, if you were to go to Material, you really go to wood blanks, you're gonna go to material variant and you're gonna see wood frame. And there it is. Um, and there it is in texture. Um, I mean, yeah. Um, as well, you guys can actually feel free to actually change the colors. You guys can change it to yellow, you guys can change it to something a little bit more specific wise. Um, change it green, you can change it like dark green, you can change it however you guys ever want it to be. Um, and yeah, so there you actually have it. Um, the texture looks really nice. Uh, the material looks really nice. And I really actually like um, using this kind of site to actually start making materials. So, you know, like I said, all of these um, material sites are basically in the link in the description below. They're really good and they're as well supported for PBR. So I really like the fact of how Roblox has expanded more within these new textures. 
Um, I really look forward to seeing what it could come at last regarding to how the community and myself feel. Um, I feel quite satisfied on what the improvements have been. Um, and um, I really look forward to seeing some of the future changes in Roblox Studio and for the Roblox development community. Um, if you guys ever want to dive deeper, you can feel free to look at the dev form, the blog, and as well the documentation. So that is actually it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.